Okay, I changed the style here a little bit and made things a little darker so that the bubbles pop a little bit more. Um, and in this video, I want to work on a couple of things. I had some ideas just to tidy up our code with functions, um, organize things a bit. And then also I want to be able to add and remove um, bubbles. So let's take a look at that. So first things first, it struck me um, this clear canvas, or actually right now we're filling the canvas, is quite a common task. And I wonder if that's something that should be part of our graphics library. Like I wonder if we should have some sort of a, you know, a background function that I can pass in a color and it'll do this code inside of that function. Okay, so let's try that. Background, I'm gonna cut this. Oop. Okay, go to my graphics library, and let's just add that, where do I wanna add that? Maybe by this stuff here, we'll just do it to the top. Um, fill the canvas with the provided uh, color. So function, oops. Background and it'll take in uh, color and I'll paste this and then we just want to set the fill to be whatever the color is and then draw a rectangle with the top left corner of zero zero and then the width of the canvas height of the canvas and fill it. Okay, now something I should have mentioned with this um, graphics library. Um, the graphics library requires a global oops, global canvas and context. Uh, requires global canvas and context variables. Right, because I need those for the width here, I need the context for this. So you have to, before you can use the graphics library, you got to make sure you initialize these variables. Okay. So that's the background that should work. Let's save. Let's go to, we already did that there. We'll save. And if I refresh, it should still work. Yay. And if I tried going like pink, hit refresh, and it would fill with pink. Great. Okay. Um, the other thing that I thought might be neat was, oh yeah, making a new file. Um, so in our JS here, I want to make a new file and we're going to call this bubbles.js or actually just bubble.js because um, it'll be all the code related to a bubble. Um, okay, we'll save that. And all I wanted to do here was take these functions that have to do with creating the bubbles, drawing the bubbles, moving the bubbles. We're going to cut those and we're going to put them into here. We'll save that. And then of course in my index.html, I need to load those. I'll do the script source one and this will be bubble.js. Um, okay, js slash bubble.js, there we go. Okay, so I load the random library, I load the graphics library, I load bubble.js, and then main.js is last, and it can use all of the functions that had been defined in these files. Okay, and then I can save down here for my event stuff, all right? Because I'm going to have some event listeners to add and remove things. Um, one other thing I wanted to do here was maybe um, clean this up a little bit too and have a function for creating bubbles. Um, so let's go to my bubble.js and I'll just put that maybe here. Function um, create bubble array and we'll pass in um, n for the number of bubbles. And I should be, I sh you really should get into the comment. I've been bad and I these names are pretty self-explanatory, but it is a good habit to really get into the commenting, you know, what does the function do, right? Create and return an array with n bubble objects. Okay, and I'm just gonna take this loop here. Um, I will cut it, paste it. 
Um, maybe I should call this create random bubble array. And I'm going to loop from one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be tricky. Well, you have to change, right? I have to decide am I going to use n for the total number of random bubbles or am I going to use n for my counter um, from one to whatever this is? So let's change this one, I think, um, with total. Let's just call it that. Total. And then this will be my total. Or max, or I don't know what a good word for that would be. I have to be a good English major, too, to know this stuff. Okay, and what we're going to do here, like bubbles, like technically bubbles is a global variable, right? And I can push to it. But I think it's better when we, when we talk about functions and keeping them like as the idea of encapsulation and keeping them kind of doing their thing. I think what we should do is have a temp variable, which is an empty array. My temp variable, I'm going to push the new random bubbles that I create to it. And then at the end, I'm going to return temp. So this function now doesn't rely on a global variable. Right before it needed bubbles, right? A global bubbles variable, um, which in this case, this is a pretty specific function. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to use it too many other places, but a, a lot of times when you're creating a function, you want it to be able to work in multiple places, different programs. Um, so now this doesn't rely on any global variables. It's going to have its own local variable. It's going to create that, that array and it's going to return it. And in here, let's just save this. And then in here, I can say let bubbles be assigned, create random bubble array 50. Right? And this function will return the array with the 50 bubbles in it. And bubbles will now um, store that, that variable, or that array, sorry. OK. Uh, we can cut that now. And then this will be my main draw loop right request animation frame draw draw background move and draw all the bubbles looks good okay let's save that and make sure it's still working and does that look like 50 maybe i don't feel like counting that much so let's test this by making it 10. that definitely looks like just 10. 10 there we go Okay, so you know what? I'm actually going to stop the video here. That was just kind of cleaning up some stuff. This is now, um, I've got my title here. This is now, you know, an initialize the canvas and graphics context. Um, we create that array of random bubble objects. We've got our main program loop that simply draws a background. And then we move and draw the bubbles. Maybe I'll add a comment here, you know. Um, request animation frame to loop. Actually, that's I'm being way too strict. Let's say loop the draw function, right? We call it call itself, so it keeps going over and over again. And then we'll get to the event stuff in the next one. Cool. Our graphics library. I should add background to the function list here. And bubble.js should maybe just have a title um, functions that deal with bubbles. I don't need a capital bubbles. Okay, and yeah, and I should really, I'm not going to do that now, but have a little title. Create a new bubble with the given parameters. Create a random bubble. They just have a little description for each function there. Okay, graphics library bubble index main styles. Here it is. All right, looking good. Okay, hope that made sense. Um, in the next video, we'll look at adding and removing bubbles. Um, and there we go. Take care, and we'll see you next video.